Many people may think that the civil engineering industry is one dominated by men, but the truth is female civil engineers are on the rise. In 2010, research found that around 1 in 10 civil engineers were women. Today, it's around 1 in 6. While the number of women actually working in the industry has almost doubled in that time. Today on Tunnel Vision, we're celebrating International Women's Day by taking a look at some pioneering female engineers from history. And we'll meet two women working on the Tideway project to clean up the River Thames. I'm Priya Messadine and this is Tunnel Vision. Since we began work in 2016, Tideway has strived to reduce the gender gap in the construction industry in a number of ways. For example, we have an inclusive recruitment policy and employee-led diversity networks, and we also promote flexible working. On top of this, Tideway was the first company in the construction sector to introduce a returnship program, offering opportunities to those that had, had an extended career break. Today, civil engineering has some amazing women who have led on incredible projects in recent years, but it's also true that there are some great female engineers in history too. There's Sarah Guppy, who patented a design for a bridge and then gave it away for free. Or Nora Stanton Barney, one of the first women to get an engineering degree, who ditched her husband after he issued an ultimatum forcing her to continue as an engineer or live as a conventional housewife. Then there's Molly Ferguson, the first female fellow of the Institution of Civil Engineers. Or Rachel Parsons, founding president of the Women's Engineering Society, who inspired the name of one of Tideway's tunnel boring machines. Women always have and continue to play a key role in civil engineering. Let's meet some of the women working on the Tideway project. My name is Sally Cox. I'm the project director for BMB. I am a civil engineer. I've got a degree in civil engineering and though I'm an FICE, so a fellow of the Institution of Civil Engineering. Uh, I'm Brooke Knight. I'm the project manager here at Earl Pumping Station. My previous engineering experience is mainly on major projects from planning High Speed 2, designing aspects of the Olympic Park to delivering Crossrail and now Tideway. When I was looking at what I wanted to go and study at university, I started to flick through the university book. And in fact, I saw a course that I liked the look of. It had maths in it, it was very outdoors, and it seemed to suit what I wanted to do. To be fair, I had no idea what civil engineering was, but I'm really pleased that's what I went to do. So I had a bit of a convoluted route into engineering. After school, I actually went to art college for a year because I was very convinced I was going to be a sculptor. But then I realised actually that my creativity needed some boundaries. I'd studied maths and physics at school um, and I went on to do a civil engineering degree. I've had many favourite projects but I would say that my ultimate favourite project was probably Paddington Bridge. I'd say that's a highly technical project where we had to lift an existing bridge 10 metres up in the air and that spanned across 10 railway tracks then launch one underneath the one that would lift it in the air, lower that one and then take it away from the railway tra um, tracks to demolish. And that, from a technical point of view, was what excited me and what I enjoyed. I've worked on loads of great projects, but Tideway is definitely my favourite. It's got really strong values and is really making a positive impact by cleaning up the River Thames. My advice for anybody thinking about a career in engineering is to look into the huge number of options that there are available. For me, what I enjoy most is problem solving, working with really diverse teams to overcome challenges and making a positive impact on the world. I would say if you like outdoors, if you like a challenge, if you enjoy working as a team, then my advice would be 100% civil engineering. I think it is a great industry to be in, enables you to travel. I've travelled and worked in Australia as well as the UK. And I think my advice would be, go for it. That's it for Tunnel Vision. I hope you've enjoyed learning about some amazing female engineers and meeting those working to clean up the River Thames. Please remember to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time on Tunnel Vision.